781602. We can help. Oh, okay. Thank you very much indeed. And there are, of thank course, you. lots of other charities that help, and I know that Neighbours also can help. So thank you so much for that. Earlier, Five Live tweeted they didn't have a tree. So... <laughs> Dan gave one of ours away. Yeah, we had a spare one, so uh, th this is what happened. Have a little look. Yeah. Need to hold that. Yeah, you're going to bring this. And, um, um, and Andy's going to help you. I've got it. Andy, go with Dad. Right. Andy, follow Dad. Uh, Steve, if you could go with Dad. Have you got the door? Have you got the oh, door? Need a uh, yeah. pass. Need a pass. Yeah. <laughs> Steve, we just sure. let him. Yeah. All right, let's Off go. go. Off you go. Right. Let's go. Come on. 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 Come Ordinarily, we would talk to you about it. Yeah, brilliant. Oh, Love you, Dad. Right, Paul, see you later. Bye. It's okay. I made it back. Still got about 20 seconds to get on set. Dropped a few baubles, but we did it. <laughs> it, it, it was, Spread it, a bit of Christmas love to find them. And Dad is back. It's the noise of the baubles <laughs> going down the stairs. And, and to, suffice to say, when you eventually got back and you read that, what headlines at eight o'clock? You were genuinely out of breath, but well done. A little you. bit of Christmas spirit well, in the building. Spread it round. Uh, Five Live actually, even though they were on air and they couldn't talk to me when I Are went they in there, they were quite happy. Have a look. I was moaning our little gripe as to the fact that we don't have a Christmas tree yet. We're on the television because you watch us. People, you might not, but some people do watch us online doing this program. And I said, "Why you a Christmas tree?" And Rachel has done it. She's well, organised. I was first of all. I said to Michelle, "Why don't you go upstairs and nick a bauble off the BBC Breakfast tree because they're only on the floor above us?" Yeah. Um, and you quite rightly said, "I'm not sure I can run on set." So I messaged Dan and Louise on the BBC Breakfast sofa, and Dan said, "We've got a little one up here. Look. He's just run down from the studios upstairs." <laughs> with the tree. It's not that little. I suppose it's little if you're Dan Walker and six foot ten. <laughs> um, but it's actually a decent look. We now have a tree. Do you know, I saw him on the little screen at my desk run off the telly <laughs> and I didn't know he was coming down here with the tree. Yay! <laughs> oh, well, we're, you, never, we're never going to get it back, are we? Well, apparently they've broken it. It's sort of bent in half. I delivered no, it. No, they've broken no, it. No, I delivered it perfectly. <laughs> a few baubles down, but I delivered it perfectly. And then Rachel put a, sent me a picture and said it's bent <laughs> in half. So if had to repair it, you better, we better get that back in one piece. Oh, <laughs> excellent. Well, very good work. Um, well done, you. I'm glad you got... I, I really didn't think you were going to make it back for the headlines, but thank goodness you did. I was a little out of breath. <laughs> we'll be back in a moment. First, the last brief look at the headlines, wherever you're watching us. Yeah, this morning. We, have, we, we cannot give away any more trees. No, that's it. <laughs> See you shortly.